Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel, Acts of Facts. So now we are going to uh, design a circuit which is used to generate a AST signal, amplitude shifting modulation signal, by using multisim software. Now open multisim software, uh, and then here uh, to place the components, go to place, and then components. Uh, to generate uh, the ASK signal we require a transistor and search here BD139 is the NPM transistor that we require 139 yeah this is the transistor click on OK place the component and then we require transistors yeah, transistor present in basic and then go to trans resistors we require 2.2k and 39k resistor yeah 2.2k okay place it here and then 39k Click on OK. If you want to rotate the component, press Ctrl plus R. Place the component here. Then we require a power sources. Sources. Signal voltage source. AC voltage. Place here and then pulse voltage to give the input. Place it here and then we require a ground. Search here. Yeah, oh yeah, ground. Place the ground here. Now connect the circuit. 2.2k resistor to base of the transistor and the emitter of the transistor to the 39k resistor and collector to the transider signal connect this to ground and this is resistor also to ground Connect the pulse signal to the 2.2k resistor, positive terminal, and the negative terminal to the ground. Now we have to change the parameters of the pulse signal and the sinusoidal signal. Okay, double click on it. Yeah, we get. We have to give the negative voltage 10 volts, and positive voltage 10 volts. Click on OK. Okay. Here. We have to give the voltage 10 volts and the frequency 10 kilohertz. Click on OK. In order to observe the output waveforms, we require a oscilloscope. So here is the oscilloscope. Click on oscilloscope. And place it here. We have to observe the output waveform across 39k resistor. Connect negative terminal to the ground. Okay. Here is the run button. Click on run. To observe the output waveforms, double click on oscilloscope. To change the times per division, here reduce, here is the amplitude shift keying signal. To observe the input waveform also, yeah, stop, connect another channel of the oscilloscope to the input signal. Yeah, 
then again run the circuit double click on the oscilloscope here we see that this is the input signal pulse to pulse of the input signal we get a carrier and the negative pulse we get nothing so this is our amplitude shift keying signal if you like the video please like share and subscribe don't forget to click on the bell icon thanks for watching